This is Let's Hi, Talk YouTubers. with Liz. This and is I'm Liz. Let's Talk with Liz. And I'm Liz. So let's get started. Uh, today's topic, we're going to be talking about the different stereotypes between men and women. And I know we could go on and on with so many different topics uh, concerning that. Um, so what we're going to talk about is uh, stereotypes in the workplace, uh, at home, and even exploring uh, the stereotypes between men and women when it comes down to uh, sex or sexuality. So let's get started. One of the things that really, really tees me off is, you know, when a woman goes on a job, and this has happened to me before, um, you go on a job and, and I have, uh, worked for a company for a long period of time and an employer had hired <clears throat> a male and, uh, this person, though they had no experience, they had, uh, a degree, um, and because he had a degree, he was actually uh, given a job over me as far as, you know, being my supervisor. And I had worked for that company at least uh, three years prior to um, the employer hiring someone else. And I was very angry and upset because I felt that um, I shouldn't have had anybody over me. He should have came in and uh, I should have been the supervisor per se. Also, he got paid more money than I did. And that was one of the main things that really, really made me angry um, because he did get paid more money. And I do uh, recognize that when you have a degree, you, you're you supposed to get a certain amount of money. Um, but also, I had a whole lot of experience dealing with the customers. And um, I was a single mother at the time. Uh, this gentleman was married and I had went to the employer and asked him about a raise. And he basically said, well, you know, he's a man and he has to take care of his family. And I was looking like, uh, so am I mincemeat? You know, I'm a woman and I'm taking care of my family, you know. Um, so that was one of the experiences that I had. Uh, and it was really upsetting. However, that person, um, <laughs> because uh, he didn't have the experience, but knowing how to deal with uh, certain customers, uh, the customers began to complain. And so he was actually, you know, I guess, asked to uh, leave the company and, you know, because he wasn't good at what he was doing. And the customers was actually asking for me. And so I began um, then to realize that, hey, you know, sometimes things work out, you know, that way, as we call it karma, things work out in a way where uh, they 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 have to see your value. But first of all, I want you to know that you have to see and know your value. And so uh, that was one of the things that really really, really um, propelled me to, you know, get even better at what I was doing. And of course, I was in real estate management at the time. Um, also, <laughs> I've noticed too, I don't know if you all have been in that situation, if someone has been in that situation, um, you know, just let me know in the comment section and, you know, we could really, really expound on it even more. Um, I really do value your opinion. And um, another thing that I really want to talk about as well was at home. Now, I know there are a lot of people, a lot of women who have heard this before. A woman's place is in the home. <laughs> And, you know, you're supposed to be barefoot, pregnant. That's what you're supposed to be doing. And thank God <laughs> that we have evolved and, and came a long way. Um, you're now seeing a lot of men at home with the children and a lot of women are out as the breadwinners, you know, um, owning their own businesses, um, being in charge of Fortune 500 companies. And it's, it's so good to see that, you know. Um, a lot of times people think that women can't, you know, have the big job and have uh, still be the wife and mother at home as well. You know, a lot of people think that, 
you can't manage that. But for some reason, you know, I feel that God have placed on inside of women uh, these multitasking skills that we can manage working, coming home, being a wife uh, and the mother of the children and still take care of the house. Um you know, I've, I've been in situations where I've had to work. I still came home, cook. I still came home, took care of the children. Um, you know, kept the house clean and made sure that, you know, the hubby was taken care of as well. So, you know, if there's, uh, anyone out there who feels that, you know, it can't be done, I am a person here to tell you that it can. And don't let anyone discourage you from um, you know, being able to go out and uh, be, you know, a, a breadwinner in the workplace and still be able to take care of your family. Um, it's not always that uh, as a woman, uh, some women don't want children. Some pe- women don't want to be the housewife. Some women, you know, uh, don't want um, that lifestyle. They just want to be able to have their careers and, you know, just enjoy their best life. Now you do have men that, um, on the other hand, we have to realize that they, you know, aren't the ones a lot of times, um, you know, men are put in a situation to say, okay, uh, I have to be the man. I have to be the one to take care of the household. And, you know, so women, we have to be mindful of that. If you, you know, don't want to be, um, you know, put in a stereotypical type situation where, you know, they're saying, well, you have to stay home and take care of the kids and take care of the house and all of that, then don't expect for the men as well to have to um, be in a situation to take care of the household if they choose to stay at home with the kids. You know, a lot of men are getting uh, bashed for that because they decide to be, you know, the ones sitting at home taking care of the kids cooking and and cleaning, you know, things have really, really changed since my mother and father (laughs) days. My mom, she was definitely the homemaker. My dad, he was the one who went out, he worked and he brought home the bacon, as they say, and um, took care of all the bills. So, you know, that's another thing that we have to really look at and consider that back in, you know, those times, um, that's what they were doing. And today it's just so different. You know, it's so many options and so many different things that people are doing today. So my thing to you on that is do whatever works best for you and you and your household. <laughs> um, last but not least, uh, this one really like really just chaps my hide, as they say. Why is it? When a man goes out and he has multiple sexual partners, he is considered to be a man. But when it's a woman with multiple sexual partners, she is considered to be a hoe, a bitch, everything that's really not, you know, ladylike. That is one of the biggest stereotypes I have noticed in all my days. You know, um, also you have where a lot of women, you know, like I said, they don't choose to be married. They just want to, you know, have their careers. They want to not be in a monogamous relationship. Um, they want to have multiple partners if that's what they choose and not be considered to be, you know, that type of woman, a whole, a whole, um, uh, <laughs> it's really, really, you know, very, very bad for a lot of women. Um, women get a bad rap on, you know, even if she was to go out and go drinking and, um, she goes outside and just passes out and, you know, people are going to remember her by, you know, who she is being drunk, passing out. And my mother always said a, a man can go out and waller in the mud and he's, when he gets up he's still a man but a woman can't do that because she's you know she go and do it she's everything but a woman when she gets up so you know we really need to correct a lot of these stereotypes between men and women and um 
you know, even growing up, if you had a um, sibling, your siblings, and you may have a brother, he probably could, you know, stay out a little longer at night. And but a girl, you know, you had to be back in the house at a certain time and your brother could probably get to stay out a little longer because they felt that he could possibly take care of himself better than you could. So these are some of the stereotypes that we face uh, with men and women. And in some cases, uh, I think we really need to take a look at it. You can have women now that are, you know, doing some of the same things as men are doing. And Still, women aren't getting paid the same amount of money as men are getting paid in the workforce. Um, you know, there's it's, it's just a, a lot across the line. So these are some things and some topics that I just wanted to talk about. And if you are really a person who is a thinker and you think about these things as well, you know, comment in the comment section and let me know. Um that's all for now. If you are new to this channel, I need you to really like and subscribe to this channel. And remember, love yourself. Talk to you later.